Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to continue forward with Alan Wake. Oh, we got some revolver ammo now. Let me go ahead and reload that really quick. And uh, we're just going to jump right back into it, guys. If you're continuing to watch my playthrough of this great. this game, cable car. just great. <laughs> do me a favor, drop a sub right now if you wouldn't mind. Just take a quick second to click it and. Uh, you know, definitely comment below and let me know how much you're enjoying my gameplay and playthrough. I would appreciate it very much. I got a feeling that we're going to get some birds here. I'm trying to be mindful. Maybe not. Oh, this, no, we're going to get some. This is a long, long day. I didn't even get a chance to react. What in the world? They are hitting me from everywhere. Got some. Reload. Now what I could do, also, to protect myself. This thing is so slow. Are you kidding me? They're gone. Is that it? one way to get over here. <laughs> That's one way to go. Oh, oh, here we go. Already. Already, man. You can't breathe. Got him. Got him. Man, what is happening? I guess we're going up. <laughs> I guess we're That could have been my head. So, the darkness clearly does not want me to get to Alice. Is that what the issue is? Okay. Uh, you know we got to do it, guys. You know I got to do it. <laughs> A stacked bunch of cans has to be shot down, right? Or at least with a rock or something, at least, if nothing else. Okay. All right. I feel like we've been short on manuscript pages this episode. I mean, uh, not this episode, but the one prior to this one. Am I wrong? Is it me? Okay, we got to get into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Here's another hunting rifle. I just, I just don't know that I want to swap it for my shotgun. I just think that I can get... Why? You? I think there... I thought there was another one. No? I don't know. Maybe I should just need to go. Maybe I should just go. Is he chasing me? Yep. See, I see a checkpoint here. Let's just go ahead and grab it. Yes! And shotgun, no, hunting rifle ammo. It's like, y'all really want me to get that, don't you? I just don't know that I want it. Okay. All right. Cauldron Lake. Okay, Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world, really. Uh, Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano, its, volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparably mild, despite some property damage. There was no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright, the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folktales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. 
which there doesn't seem to be many of those left, if at all. Let's see if there's a page up here, perhaps. Come on, come on, Alan. Get your feet up under you, man. I, I don't, I don't see one. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna meet with the guy then. Look at this. This is fun. Oh, 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 oh. Keep your balance, Alan. Keep your balance. I see the thermos over there glistening. I see it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. What I need to do is get, get. He won't let me pass it. I can't! Look at him. Look, look, look. How, how are you tired from a battle you, you, you just recovered from, man? <laughs> okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull out the uh we're gonna pull out the, the flashbang. Cause I think that'll be the better way of dealing with this. Um I could dispel them a lot faster that way. Are you okay? I was wondering, I was like, so you gonna you gonna give me a a, 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 repri a reprieve? Okay, let's start with him first. Oh, it fell off. What? Yeah, this is what I wanted to do right here. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, this, this is better. I can deal with this. Nope. I don't want the shotgun. Hopefully that's it. Good grief, man. <laughs> Good grief. All right. Um, uh, I'm 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 not seeing any pages at all, guys. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, oh. Where, where exactly are you pointing, though? Oh, here we go. Got it. Flare gun ammo. Flare gun. Okay. Oh, well, we got an abundance of that now. But I'm going to try to hold on to it uh, simply because you just never know when you're really, really going to need it. There's a page. I see it. I see it. I see it. Just having a hard time finding him in this episode. Maude had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated. Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Clearly not. Um, you know, another thing too, guys, I wanted to point out, I know it's kind of late in the game to try to share that information now, but um, the the disparage, disparage, just the disparities, disparities, I don't know what I'm trying to say, um, <clears throat> in the, the volume of the game uh, is not, it's not my recording. Okay, there's just moments in this game um, that there's just moments in this game that the volume just gets really low. Um, and, you know, I, I've checked my settings in the game. Uh, I have everything at max level, you know, so um, I, it's not really anything I can do about that. Kick. You really had to do that, man. You, you couldn't have climbed up there. Uh, but so, if you notice a lot of this, you know, ups and downs with the volume, uh, you know, it took me some time to realize it, but it's not, 
it's not my recording. It's it's not my equipment or anything. Uh, it's it's the game. Oh, how do we get that? Um, it's it's the game. Uh, I don't know why it's that way. In some areas, it's just louder than others. Um, it's just it's just really weird, uh, and I'm not I'm not exactly sure why. Um, so, you know, I just I'm I've done the best I can with it to make it something that we can hear. But like some some areas sound really loud, others just don't. Tom, I miss you, Tom. Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom. Tom, Tom. Wow. I curse you, Thomas Zane. Tom, Tom, Tom. Did you write this? I missed it. What? Okay. Uh, where? Okay, there's a set of stairs here. I was like, where do we go from here? Okay. Let's climb up. Well, not stairs, but something yes please thank you almost maxed back out on my revolver ammo did I see a manuscript page over here nope I do got some shotgun oh honey boy they keep giving me maybe I need to, to switch up what is this over here okay shotgun ammo I got 14 in there I, I think I'm good this can't be good, man. You you know how it, you, when you've been playing games as long as I have, you know after a while you begin to realize when they start loading you up with stuff, it's because it's about to be a battle. You, you just know it. All right, where? Oh my goodness, man! I knew it. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. right yep now since y'all want to hurt somebody oh there's more let's get into the thick of it get into the thick of it let's reload yeah big man too bad that wasn't too bad let's get back up here the flashbangs man make all the difference this is a lifesaver and a half I tell you okay let's jump here and drop down here now that thermos maybe okay I don't want to I don't want to break a leg let's go back over here that's because I saw that thermos here. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick that up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's being silly, y'all. You know me. You know me. I don't know. There was something I did want to ask you guys, and I want you to honestly. see Cauldron Lake. I feedback? thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Okay. Um, I, I read, I read somewhere recently where they said, you know, when it comes to like watching horror game playthroughs, right? Uh, that the, I was it, close it, now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Hold on. Let me let me let me grab this and then I'll share my thoughts. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Wow. Um, so they said that, uh, you know, they felt like when it came to, like, watching... Um horror games on YouTube, the other, you know, other YouTubers play that uh, the experience of the game is better without commentary. Hey, are you? What? Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. What is happening? Sorry. Please, please. The boss didn't know. 
What is being said here? What's that? Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the Dark Presence before it attacked me. You a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No. You're... What? You lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. Somebody took them, I bet. So wait a minute. Is Alice really gone? Like what? The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Doctor talk. Why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Um... This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Is his name on that except door? Except for the ones is who he? are particularly what? vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. Is this really happening or 
Is he trying to convince me of this? What? Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. That sounds right. I didn't know I was blocking him from moving, <laughs> but that does sound so that's, I mean, that's exactly what's happening. What in the world? So none of, none of what just happened actually happened. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. So I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. I mean, because he sounds very it's assuring. Your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic I mean... by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Not everything. Not, not everything. In my opinion. This is beautiful, though. This sundial is amazing. Cauldron Lake Lodge 812? 1812? Wow. I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Man, with my headphones on, that sounded that real. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Well, I guess we got to see it Alan, through, guys. What I'm but... telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His voice yeah, seems that way. Badly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Interesting Let's how every, every door has a lock on it. Hey, uh. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. Man, what? Emerson. <laughs> Bye, man. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson, 
Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. <laughs> Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Mm. What's out here? Hey, man. What are you painting? Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah. He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Wait a minute. Those are the guys from, from the diner. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. What is happening here? I'm, I'm guessing this door is locked, of course. Because every door is locked. Alright, well, let's make our way back. Uh, to Dr. Hartman uh, <laughs> and see what's next for us. Oh, now, okay, man. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Mm, that's that that is suspicious within itself. What is this? Welcome to Carlton Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patient's need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're in, uh, engaged by their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're uh, you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy, a trademark, <laughs> and its sister method, the flow, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Mm hmm. My rheumatism. My springs. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers, <laughs> Odin and Tor. They had a, how should I put this, a heavy metal band in the seventies and eighties called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Okay. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's Can't the argue that. thing I've heard in a while. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's Tom? Go to the farm. The Anderson Farm, Valhalla. Valhalla. You wrote it all down, 
best of me to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head. Whoa. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Okay, so... Up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. And here's the wow. reason. Got any booze on you? No, I don't have any booze yeah, on me. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, well, guys. Right. Um, let me get out here because I, I kind of want to share my thoughts on something. So the 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 thing that that makes me believe that he's lying is if if we were actually like having an episode of Dream It or whatever this thing is that we're having, I remember we remember way back. I think it was episode two. Uh, when Alan Wake first met the doctor and was talking about Alice, he punched him, right? We were in the sheriff's office looking for Alice at that time. We punched him and broke his nose, or I guess broke his nose. If that, if what he's saying is true, then that would have never really happened, right? That would have all been in his mind. So why is his nose really broken? You see? So guess what we're going to do? We're going to find out in the next episode. <laughs> But you guys, let me know your thoughts. If you've never seen this game before and you're watching it for the first time as I play it, now share with me what you think is going on. Is the doctor telling the truth? Or are the brothers telling the truth? You know, who's right in this, in this situation? But in either case, guys, I'm taking a break. I will come back tomorrow with more of this good old Alan Wake. I'm, st I'm really enjoying it, guys, and I hope you guys are too. Do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind, consider dropping oh Super G a sub. I truly appreciate it. But for now, guys, you take it easy, and I will see you again soon. Later.